Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible. My buddy Dev is in town right now and he actually, remember, he brought Taco when she was just a little baby. Ew. A beautiful red-throated King Cobra. Getting a little bigger now? Oh yeah, she's about four feet now and just amazing. Yeah, now, listen, he works with her every single day, so don't expect this to be like Lilith, like chasing us around <laughs> King Cobra. But I, let's just take a look at this monkey. My God, she's gonna be so beautiful. Now, I do wanna give a shout out to Midwest Tongue yeah. for this top. Also, oh, yeah. with for the stickers, you can get all of this and the, the oh, snake hook. Too. Oh, yeah, Midwest, I've been dealing with those guys forever. As a matter of fact, when we did Venom Hunters, I actually used a pair of collapsible hooks from yep. Midwest Kong, so great company. And she has gotten much bigger. Look at how beautiful she is. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at this. Look at the red throat on this thing, man. Holy cow. Just go ahead, get her out right here. And, and again, she's really chill. So you can see she'll hood just a little bit, but she's probably not gonna hood a whole lot. Wow, what an animal. She's come constantly working with her 24-7. There she goes. Now she's getting a little bit of hood right there. So wow, I tell you what, she is just absolutely incredible. I tell you, what an animal. You've done such a good job with oh, her. Thank you, man. Oh, because she was just so small, if you guys remember before. She's definitely gotten much, much bigger since then. It's absolutely phenomenal. Now, I know these guys can be a little tricky when it comes to eating. What is she feeding on now? Right now, she's on geckos, any little lizards right now. Any little she's lizards? Taking. Again, this is the king of snakes, guys. I mean, this is gonna get, you know, I mean, huge. You know, 15 foot, they can get up to 18 foot, actually. Yeah. And, uh, and whew, look at this other monkey here. Again, she's so docile because, you know, Dev just put so much work into this animal that we don't have to worry about it flying at us and stuff like that. But at the same time, it it's is still, still a king cobra. It's still a it's king still cobra. And, and what people don't realize is that it's not the venom of a king cobra that is really the problem, right? Well, I mean, it's the problem, of course. They always say that a king cobra can kill an elephant. It's not the toxicity. So if you took the same amount of venom, let's say, from an inland taipan, and you took it from a king cobra, it would be radically different, you know what I mean? But the thing is, the yield of venom. So when a king cobra bites, they pump you with venom. And that's why you don't want to get bit by those guys. And trust me, the bite, you know, our buddy Tyler Nolan knows what that bite is like. I mean, he lost a finger, ended up almost dying. This is a serious animal, guys. So we're taking, you know, we take it seriously. Very, very you know, serious. Very serious, but it's amazing. And uh, wow, I tell you what. So this is incredible, dude. This is, you've done such a good job. I can't believe how big she got. Yeah, I mean, over it. Like I said, it was a struggle getting her to eat at first because after the second time she shed it, yeah. being in my care, she just stopped taking snakes. Right. All completely. So she doesn't take snakes she at all right now. Any, any snakes unless I choo-choo train the snakes. Oh, so I take okay. that you told me to do. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, she will not take a snake. Wow. She will only take any small lizards, like I said, iguanas, which we're actually right now on Instagram, we're promoting that she's helping in Florida with Oh, so you're be able to do the iguanas yeah. down in Florida. Yeah, right. Get exactly. invasive exactly. species down there from Florida and having her take those, she takes them with no problem at all. Yeah, and, and the truth is, is that, you know, in the wild, that's what they're gonna eat mainly. They're snake eaters, king cobras, they're because they eat snakes, and they do eat lizards in the wild. So in actuality, a lot of king cobras in captivity that are rodent feeders oftentimes don't live quite as long because they're really set up to digest other reptiles mainly. They will eat rodents in the wild, and they will eat rodents in captivity, but a main diet of rodents probably isn't the best. But, well, I tell you what, there's just something. Look at the head on that thing right there. Whew. What an absolute ripper, I tell you what. This thing is crazy cool, guys. I mean, I love it. And it's cool to see one that's so chill, you know, that, that's just kind of just <laughs> chilling out. It's almost like you want to pick it up and play with it like a corn snake. But I know it's not a corn snake, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a, a little respect for sure, but yeah, you can see definitely this. Definitely have to give it a respect. Now, one of the things is, I want to try to break that stereotype that king cobras and most snakes are these just vicious animals that are out trying to kill people right. just because, you know saying, it's a snake, quote unquote, but they just really want to be left alone out in the wild. And given the time that I'm spending with this snake, like I said, day in and day out, she sees me, I'm picking her up, and you see the end result. Like, this snake isn't trying to turn around. She's not going after Brian. She's not going after anyone that's standing around us. She's looking directly at me. She's not trying to come at me for right. any type of progression. She's studying everything that's going on around her. People fear what they don't understand. Yep. That's why we're having Florida laws that's going on right now is because you got a bunch of people who don't understand the snakes or the reptiles, but they want to push, oh, we have to get rid of them. But you got to think about the next generation of kids that's growing up that's going to want to get into 
snakes, tegus, monitor lizards, possibly alligators. So now you're taking that privilege away from the next generation, which I believe isn't fair. No, I completely agree. And, and again, you know, we're not, you know, condoning people keeping king cobras as pets Absolutely. by any stretch. Absolutely. But I think that people like Deb that want to educate people on an animal that is probably very, you know, misunderstood, you know, thought of as a killer and stuff like that. I mean, the truth is king cobras can be some of the most amazing animals. I've seen them over in Indonesia in person and seen the kind of work that people have done with them. They're absolutely amazing. Look at, she's so interested, you know, it's, so, it's such a visual animal that as soon as it sees movement, it's gonna actually follow that movement. And again, a lot of king cobras at this point would be hooded up. As a matter of fact, when you brought Taco the first time, she was like hooded up like a, a third of her body. And uh, and now you can see she's just got the little bit of threat posture, like don't mess with me too much, you know what I mean? And the more I touch her, she's just gonna come up a little bit more, which is completely fine. But look at that! Woo! That snake is, I mean, I love king cobras, but this one in particular is amazing. Ridiculous, dude. It's absolutely amazing. Look at and the color. The last time, I don't know if anybody knows, the last time that she was up here, that her color has completely changed. Yes. She went from that dark yeah. pigmentation to this nice goldish brown color. Yep. And if you get closer, Jay, you can actually see the chevrons yep. coming in through her skin. Yes. Oh. Wow. Absolutely crazy. I mean, that thing is beautiful. What's the plans of the future? You want to get more? Do you want to get another one to breed, or do you want to definitely find a different locality of okay. Endos? Uh, watching Ponji YouTube channel, yeah. I've seen these different color endos, yeah. and just absolutely amazing. He has an endo king cobra named Garaga, which yeah. is just black with gold uh, yeah. chevrons on it. It's just insane. So I want definitely want to get another endo king. Uh, I have someone who's breeding Malaysian king, so I'm waiting to find out if I will be getting a pair of those later on. Wow. So. That's awesome. I love it. I love that you're so, I mean, this guy is so passionate about King Cobras. It's not even funny. Yeah. So I love that you're this, doing this. And I know that you're also being super safe. You know what I mean? He doesn't want to get bit because he realizes if he gets yeah. bit, it's going to destroy all the work that he's trying to do to get people to love these King Cobras. And dude, I love the fact that you, uh, you're you close so you can bring her up and give us yeah. updates on her. And, and then the, another go. thing is, people look at snake bites as, oh, that snake was just you know, one to bite that right. person. No, a lot of times what happens is the person's not reading the animal and then they wind up messing up. So it's never the animal's fault no, that a person yep. gets bit. It's always the person's fault. Yeah, it's always the person's fault. If you get bit by a snake, it's every bite I've ever had, and thankfully nothing from a venomous snake, every bite I've ever had has been my fault, not the snake's fault, you know? And so if you're, like you said, you know this animal, you're reading it, you know every move it's going to make. You, and you have and, to uh, constantly just pay, paying attention to the head, paying attention to the eyes, reading the entire snake's body language. I do the same thing with alligators. You have to just be so in tune and keen with these animals. Just, you, can't, you can't take your eyes off of them for one second. Tell you what guys, I'm excited. Great way to start the morning, right? <laughs> Beautiful King Cobra. Thank you so much oh, for bringing absolutely. Taco, man. As a matter of fact, there's gonna be some Taco merch, so I'll put a link down in the description to his Instagram and all that stuff, and you can get your Taco merch if you wanna support it, because I think it's absolutely, I've seen it, it looks really badass. But again, link's in the description, go show him some love, tell him I sent you. For any more plays. No, 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 I, no, no. I've no. got a play that but anyone have... can listen to. Anyone listen, do. you don't do you, do you, Okay, wait a second, do you have any girls that, do you have, I don't care about zone stuff. Do you have one girl that can do a layout? One. Girl. One. Okay. This I is what it is. No. Play. You get the rebound. You send the no, one no, no, that. No, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. You you go into inbound the ball. Yes. Right. You got the girls at the line to inbound the ball. The other three players, the layout girls, stand still. The other three players drop down and start barking. <laughs> Yeah, but that play only wanna, works like one time. You can do it every time. Every time. Absolutely not. What if they do a different animal each time? That every is like, time. They just throw them yeah, off. Yeah, do the snake. Do the, the worm. Snake. Do the worm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the elephant. Ooh. I just tell you. Do you need assistant coach? I got it. All right. You know what? Yeah, I need you at practice on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> So we get asked all the time what are the length of our animals are, and a lot of times we just guess. You know, I mean, right now Jay is obviously going to do the string trick, where he basically just run a string from the, the snout of nose 
all the way down. You can kind of follow along the curves. That's the most accurate way, unless you actually build like a box that it actually crawls straight through, which just is a pain, right? So he's actually going to go ahead and measure up Al and a bunch of our other animals so that when people do ask, we can actually give accurate information. A lot of times when people ask me how big Al is, I'll say, yeah, it's about 11 foot. I have no idea. Maybe it's 12 foot, maybe it's 13 foot, maybe it's 10 foot. So we're going to do the exact same thing with a bunch of other animals here today, just so that we have a pretty good idea. And it looks like Jay's going to require some help from Mike. Wait, what's the matter, Jay? You can't do it yourself? No, I can't, actually. What's the problem? The I thought you said you've done this before. I have. I have plenty of time. You have plenty of time? Yeah. Okay. So it's like, you can see he's just kind of inching down, kind of following. If there's an S or a curve, you kind of follow that curve and stuff like that. And uh, it, it works out. And then you measure the string. You know, you don't measure the snake, you measure the string when you get to the end of it. And uh, it'll be interesting to see some of the sizes of animals we have that uh, we've been guessing for a while. It's like I've talked about when we actually weigh our animals. A lot of times we'll think, oh, it's like 60 pounds. We weigh it, sometimes it's 35 pounds, sometimes it's 80 pounds. So uh, we'll get the first measurement with Al here, and then we'll We'll just do all of our animal ambassadors so that everyone here can actually have accurate numbers in their mind. All right, so the verdict on Al is, let's see, nine foot, 10 foot, 11 foot, 12 foot, five inches. Oh, I was right. <laughs> I was right. Jay it. 12 foot, five inches. That's surprising, to be honest with you. I was thinking like 11 foot, so. I said 12 foot, six inches. 12 foot, six inches. Oh, what? what? Yeah. No, but I undercut you prices right now. I said 12 foot. That's basically my right, animal. Right. I handle them every day. He's mine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and measure up the rest of them. We'll get back to you with the verdict on everything. Oh, Speedy? What exactly do you got going on here, buddy? I don't think that this is... You are a mess, bud. Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> he's got it pinned. <laughs> Here, Lori. Can, can, you, can you hold this? Speedy, what are you doing? He, he's stuck. He's got it pinned. He's pinning it with his shoulder. <laughs> Speedy, you crazy monkey, you. Okay. Tell you what, this guy, he's insane. Ridiculous. All right, let's see what we got. Drum roll, please. One foot, five inches. <laughs> oh, Almost man. a foot and a half. Almost pony. a foot and a half ponytail. Take that, Sebastian Bach. <laughs> <laughs> and the verdict was, what did you measure and what were the verdict? All right, so we've got Jeffrey, Jeffrey? eight feet, two inches. What? Marshmallow, five feet, three oh, inches. Oh my gosh, little marshmallows, five foot. That is crazy. Perdita, 10 Perdita. feet, three inches. 10 foot, I, I would have said about 10 foot. What's your guess for sunrise? Um, 11 foot. 10 feet, four inches. They're almost the same. So that's, a, we usually tell people 10 foot, so that's about right. And we've got salt. Salt. Three feet, five inches. Three feet, five inches. That surprises me. And I'm gonna be honest with this you. This is a good one. What's that? My boy, Dwayne. Dwayne. One foot, six inches. He loves Dwayne the Croc that's Johnson. That's my guy. <laughs> and then the last one we got Aries at eight feet, two inches. Wow, that's actually good. Aries is bigger than I thought as well. I thought maybe seven foot. So, yeah. so that's crazy. So now we can actually tell people, it's probably the two things that we get asked the most is how old are they and how, and how long are they? Now we have both those answers. What do you think about doing Ivy? Let's I, do it. I'm really curious. I mean, I think last time she was like 10 foot, two inches. Yeah, she's gotta be at least 28 and a half feet. 28 and a half foot, okay, good. <laughs> so we got 30 inch uh, tape measure. So, now I'm saying 11, two. I'm gonna say 12, four. Whoa, okay, well let's get Ivy out. So the interesting thing is that anacondas look much larger, right? I always say that, you know, they get bigger, they don't get longs. That's why, you know, like, she's almost the same girth as Lucy that's 20 foot. And I said, what, 11 foot, four inches, I think, or yep. something like that, you said 12 foot? Four inches. So I think I said 11, 11.2. Two. 11, 2, 12, 4. Let's see what we got. All right, we're at nine. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, go ahead. We're at nine, 10. 11, 2! 11, 11. Get no, the hell out of here! No, no. Get out of here! Come on. 
I would like no, cheese. She spent so much time with her. He knows, bro. He 11 knows. with you, which is that crazy? That is what? crazy. That is That's wild. Crazy. Oh my God. Look at Ivy wants to run a fish pop. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Ivy's 11 too. Like I said, they get really big. She's probably going to outweigh Lucy at some point and still be probably five foot shorter. So uh, there you go. 11 2. Hey, I, I, I still got it. I still got it. Always a great time to see Taco the King Cobra. I mean, how cool is that? Also, it's cool to get some good measurements of everything. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit this playlist right over here. One or two videos helps the channel tremendously and I appreciate it. Up here, you can actually listen to my podcast. Subscribe up over here. On this side, 30,000 away from 3 million people. Hit that subscription button. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to somebody and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.